The federal universal waste requirements were designed to provide a legal and safe means for facilities to recycle or otherwise safely dispose of certain wastes that would otherwise end up in landfills. The goal is to reduce overall hazardous waste accumulation nationwide by making certain wastes easier to process, store, transport, and reuse. The standards and requirements for handling universal wastes are similar to the standards for conventional hazardous wastes, but allow the generator additional flexibility and time in order to facilitate recycling. Originally established in 1995, the Federal Universal Waste Regulations are found in Title 40 of the Code of Federal Regulations, the CFR, in Part 273, and currently identify four types of universal waste. Spent or scrap batteries. Certain types of lamps with mercury or lead. Pesticides that have been recalled or banned from use, are expired, damaged, or are no longer needed. And mercury-containing devices. The California Department of Toxic Substances and Control, the DTSC, has adopted and expanded three of the four federal classes of universal waste, classifying pesticides separately to regulate a total of seven types of universal waste. The additional types of universal waste are electronic devices, cathode ray tubes, CRT glass, and non-empty aerosol cans. On top of these classes of universal waste, each state environmental agency may also add other types of wastes, such as antifreeze, photo finishing solutions, paints, and excess unused or expired pharmaceuticals. Except for waste pharmaceuticals, one common property of universal wastes is that the entire waste or one or more of its components can be readily recycled. Note that the green capped fluorescent lamps and most burned out incandescent lights, as well as most spent alkaline batteries, are usually not hazardous wastes. However, they share many of the same components as universal wastes and are often included in universal waste recycling programs. If the waste is destined for disposal, as opposed to being recycled, the material must be managed as a hazardous waste. Be aware that individual states have individual regulations. If a state adds or modifies something in its program, that waste may only be managed as universal waste within that state. If this waste is shipped to another state where it is not classified as a universal waste, the handling must comply with all applicable federal hazardous waste management and shipping requirements.